Hi, my name is Omanator, and、um, today I'm just doing a little t- tonight. I should say it's uh, twelve thirty-four. Uh, well, yeah, twelve thirty-four. Uh, in the morning, in the night, middle of the night, whatever the hell you want to call it. I just finished the Mass Effect Three extended cut, and I just wanted to briefly talk about it, like without a script or anything like that. Just give my brief thoughts on it. Let me just move the microphone up a little bit so I can actually look at the camera while I speak. <laughs> All right. So the extended cut DLC did not change anything.、Um, we already knew this before it came out. I certainly did, and it is a.、Uh, It was known by a large number of people. You might know it, you might not.、Uh, well, now you do. It doesn't. It doesn't change the endings.、Um, it elaborates on them.、Um, and the first, the first thing I want to say is,、um, going into the extended cut DLC, I had a very strong conviction that I was going to be disappointed. That I was. That it was not going to live up to my expectations. However, that doesn't really seem to be the case.、Uh, I'm not. Eagerly,、um, like man, best ending ever. I don't. I wouldn't even go as far as to say that it's a good ending to probably my favorite、uh, video game trilogy of all time. But I will say that it did the games、uh, more, a lot more justice than the original endings did.、Uh, so what Bioware did is、um, they had, they did actually add one new ending. They they、um, basically. By the way, spoilers incoming.、Um, when the God Child or Star Child or Catalyst, whatever you want to call this little fella, when he、uh, talks to you and all this kind of stuff, you can ask him all, all kinds of questions about the nature of the different choices you can make and how they will affect certain things and whatnot here and there, and it gives you a somewhat vague but、um, all right. Responds、uh, in in detail that explains a little more about what what are the what are the different choices actually about,、uh, but there's also a fourth、uh, choice beyond the original synthesis control and destroy, which is to just refuse the catalyst and say, screw you. Basically,、uh, I didn't choose that ending. I did, however, I watched、um, how all the endings turned out on YouTube after I had finished my own game. Uh, personally, I chose the destroy ending,、uh, and I was happy I did. So I think it's the best ending.、Um, very closely aligned with synthesis, which was actually not、um, as bad as I thought、uh, at the beginning. First, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, synthesis. Basically, you're forcing every creature in the galaxy to、uh, change their core DNA and functions and genetics and all that kind of stuff. And I was not really、uh, in favor of that. I suppose you could say. Which is why I chose the destroy ending in the original ending as well.、Uh, but now that I chose it here、uh, with the extended cut DLC, I'm still happy I did so、um, because it seems the best choice to me,、uh, even after watching the other ones.、Um, yeah, I was. What can I say? What 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 did they do? They filled in some of the plot holes. For example,、um, how did your squad make? Get back in the Normandy. While they did fill this plot hole in, I felt they did so a little cheaply. It was a little cheap. It felt like they went in and they fixed something. They didn't really think it through and be like, you know, and went like, hmm, how can we make this?、Um, how can we do this the best way possible? They were just like, okay, let's fix this.、Um, Basically, what happened is your two teammates got injured, and so they had, you know, critically injured, and so they had to go on the Normandy. There you go.、Uh, what it did do was provide a nice way for you to actually、uh, say a last goodbye to you, the whatever love interest you tr- chose、um, in the game,、uh, which provides a little closure in that、uh, regard. If、um, if you were that deeply involved in the game as I was,、uh, so that was nice to me、um, that. They、uh, gave an explanation for that, even though it was a bit cheap, you know, a bit like、eh, could have been done better. I can't really figure out how, but I mean, no, the, they are the guys making the game, right? They should have changed the endings, if you ask me, but they did do a, a very surprising job、uh, fixing them up here after they kind of screwed it up. Um, the control ending was creepy, very creepy, if you ask me. Wow, very very spooky. Uh, I watched it on YouTube. I I can't really fathom it right now. Very spooky. You have to go watch it for yourself. 
and yeah, the synthesis ending was just it was very, very good. A little too good, if you ask me. I like, I like the destroy ending. It was a little more of a despair situation where um, there's kind of a, a future where choices need to be made, uh, as opposed to synthesis where everything's just peaceful and the galaxy's working together to accomplish all kinds of crazy things and whatnot. And you know, and, you know, and that's all fine and dandy, but uh, that was not really what I was looking for. Um, uh, one thing they did, which I'm very, which I have very mixed feelings about, is that um, they still left um, the game open enough, very, very open, very leading up to um, a sequel, actually, which is both a good and a bad thing. I mean, come on, I love Mass Effect. I'll welcome a sequel any day, but there's a great chance it might suck real bad. And the reason why is Bioware is now owned by EA, and uh, I'm sure that. The ending was left open because of EA's influence. Um, and essentially what that means is that if a fourth game comes out, which is very likely, if you ask me, um, it is also very likely that it's going to be a kind of a milk the cow game that's just going to, going to do the same thing again. And the story is probably going to suck even worse than in Mass Effect 3. And the story in Mass Effect 3 wasn't all that great, if you ask me. Uh, but the endings gave me some nice closure. And uh, I both hope and, um, what can you say, dishope that they make another game. Uh, I have very mixed feelings about it, but I was uh, generally very impressed with what they did um, because I had such low expectations for it. Going in knowing that I would be disappointed, I was very uplifted to find that I was not disappointed, but I wasn't um, too fond of what they did either. Um, that's all I have to say about this subject for now uh please leave your opinions below uh if you've played the extended cut what do you think what did you choose um how do you feel about what they actually did to the endings do you think they should have created new endings instead or do you think it was a good idea to stick with the ones they made and uh, just um explain them elaborate them give people some closure thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed my um relatively vague opinion here somewhat trivial this video has been um i am yoda yoda i am goodbye thanks for watching